Hello people of YouTube, it's Deep Hack here, and welcome to DCS World 2.9.9 and Ergis Simulations Mirage F1 EE module. Welcome to tutorial 7, Low Drag Bombs. Today I'm going to demonstrate the employment of low drag bombs in a dive bombing profile, which is pretty much the only way to do it in this aircraft. Um, it's a little bit old school, we're going to be using uh, kind of profiles taken from tables and uh, using depressed reticles on the gun sight. So nice old school stuff. And today you can see that I've got a loadout of five SAMP 250 kilogram low drag bombs. Uh, the aircraft can carry a variety of SAMP models as well as the Mark 82 and Mark 83 series for Western weapons. Um, these can all be carried in the wing pylons, so both inner and outer wing pylons, but they can also be carried singly on the fuselage pylon as well. So, let's go through a little bit of setup for how we're going to do this. Um, you'll need to refer to the manual for your different profiles for the different weapons. So, you know, this takes a little bit of setup and prior planning. Uh, with the SAMP 250, I've selected a profile of 400 knots, 10 degrees pitch down, and 1,500 feet at weapon release. And that gives me a depression on the gun sight of 185 milliradians. Uh, and that's the way we're going to do this. This aircraft doesn't have any CCIP, it doesn't have any radar ranging even. Everything is done old school. Kind of um, a bit like some of the modes in the Vigan that we've already covered. So uh, one of the first things that we're going to need to do is we need to know the elevation of the target. And this is quite important. We need to know our QNH and we need to know our elevation. And we can then calculate what the QFE is for the target. Uh, so I happen to know that today... Uh, the QNH is 1013 millibars, so that's just standard atmosphere. I also happen to know that the target is around about 60 feet uh, above sea level. So what we do is we subtract a milliradian for every 30 feet above sea level. So my starting setting is 1013. For today, we're going to need to set 1011 for our target. We're going to subtract 2 millibars. And what we would normally do is we'd leave the backup altimeter at our normal QNH so that we can reference that and set it back after the fact. So that's the first thing that we need to do. Next, I'm going to go ahead and turn on master arm so that that's done. Uh, we'll then look down at the armament panel on the right hand side here. And the things that I need to do for uh, a free fall bomb release are my firing selector needs to be in manual mode. My salvo switch can be in whatever setting I want. Today I'm going to do singles, so we're going to go for the single mode uh, rather than salvo. The next one would be to select which bombs are going to come off of the wing pylons. We can either just have the inner pylons, the outer pylons, or I can have bombs come off of both, uh, kind of in sequence. I'm going to leave it in both just now. Uh, and then your fuse. You can have instantaneous, delayed, or inert. We're going to go for an instantaneous fusing today and then we can choose which weapons to release. We can just choose the fuselage weapon, and in which case just that one will drop, or we can choose the wing stations, in which case this selector will then determine which ones will come off. Or you could select both, and then they'll just come off one at a time. For my first attack, I'm going to do fuselage only, so I can drop that single one on the fuselage station. Then we're going to go ahead and unsafe the trigger, and then if we look up at the gun sight, the pepper is here at the very top of the glass. I'm going to go ahead and depress it for our selected profile. So like I said before, we want that to be 185 milliradians, and we use this setting here. So we're going to roll that little wheel just the right of the window, and you'll see that as I do that, uh, the, the gun pepper is descending in the glass, and we want to get it all the way down to 185. And then... The last thing to do is to basically get ourselves set up and to fly the profile as accurately as we can. Uh, and actually, just to get visibility of that pipper, I'm going to go ahead and raise my seat all the way just to make sure that I've got good visibility of the pipper in the glass. Okay, so quick reminder, the profile for today is that we will fly at 400 knots, we'll dive 10 degrees down towards the target, and we will release the weapon at 1,500 feet. And we actually reference the... Uh, the glass here because uh, below 2,000 feet we have our barometric 
altitude displayed in the, the gun sight, which is very handy. I'm going to leave the view kind of zoomed out a little bit, though, so that I can see my airspeed, my altitude, and uh, I'll reference the pitch using this instrument here. Now, something to note, while you're approaching the target, you always want the pipper to be below the target, because then you can hold your selected angle and wait for the target to move to the pipper. If you have the target uh, below the pipper, you're never going to get the pipper on target, so that would be your cue to call off. Oh, one last thing we could also do is we'd set the radar into V1 mode. That's the, the ground mapping mode, and then we'll actually get a little bit of situational awareness with that. Also, I'm going to drop the selected range to 15 nautical miles. Um, this can't be used for any kind of designation, so it is just situational awareness. It doesn't do anything other than that. Right, let's give this a go. I've got some targets on an airfield. They're just uh, Tiger um, armoured personnel carriers, or, well, not really armoured, but anyway, you know what I mean. Uh, and I've put uh, a smoke cloud to the side of them to make them easier to spot. So let's come out of active pause. I'm going to go full afterburner. I'm going to get some altitude. You're normally going to want to begin these kinds of attacks at more than 6,000 feet. So something like 6,000, 8,000, 10,000. Those are all good heights to begin a dive bombing attack. That should ensure that you don't end up intersecting with the ground, which is uh, generally considered a bad thing. So let's get ourselves nice and high as we begin this attack. Uh, and be aware that the trigger is live right now. Right, going to come out of burner and roll down a little bit. That's pretty good, actually, for targeting. So I'm going to get the nose down to the 10 degrees down angle. I'm going to go throttle idle, and I'm going to pop out the air brake now. And I'm just going to fly the profile as best as I can. And try and put the pepper on target. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, we're on target. Weapon away, and I'm going to accelerate out. And the weapon didn't come off. For some reason, the weapon did not come off. I did something wrong. Let's try it again. Uh, this time, I'm going to select the wing stations. Maybe that was the problem. Let's get ourselves back up to altitude, get ourselves some distance away from the target, and we will re-attack. Not sure why that didn't come off that time. Okay. Let's come back around. Try to maintain altitude and maintain speed. There we go. So let's get the let's get the angle set, let's get the speed set. And let's try that one more time. There we go, I can see my targets. One bomb away, two bombs away, and then let's pull out. There we go, those do definitely came off this time. And one of them actually struck the target. Fragments must have hit something over there because that's exploded. So we got one hit and uh, some of the targets are scattering. Let's do it one more time, just to continue to demonstrate this. Now, of course, it is fairly inaccurate. It's not nearly as good as kind of modern CCIP methods of attacking targets, but uh, you can definitely make hits. And of course, if you did a salvo and dropped a stick of bombs, that would dramatically increase your chances. Uh, but we're not doing that today. So throttling back, nose is down. Oh, I just blacked out. I just blacked out. And we're totally off of profile, so I'm going to pull away. That's uh, not a good attack. I was too close. In any case, you get the idea. I think that still works as something of a demonstration. So once again, the setup is as follows. You're going to want to make sure that Master Arm is on. You're going to want to ensure that your release mode is in manual. Uh, you're going to want to set either single or salvo, whichever is your preference. You're going to want to choose... Uh, which wing pylons are going to be used if you have wing pylons selected. You're going to want to choose your fusing, instantaneous or delayed. And then you want to push in the button selectors, whether or not you're doing a fuselage or wing bomb drop. Uh, you're then going to want to choose your profile and set the milliradians accordingly. 
And also keep in mind that it is very important that your primary altimeter is set for QFE at the target area. Subtract one millibar for every 30 feet your target is above sea level. And that's it. That's pretty much the whole thing. I hope you all enjoyed that. Fly safe, and I'll see you all next time.